Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on Heart Survive 4. So today, I'm going to be going through the Kaiser Redux mod and be playing as the Commune of France. And this is kind of going to be a follow-up from the last video with Russia striking back from Germany, but what if it was so that the Syndicalists won instead against um, Germany instead of the Russians? More of a victory for them compared to what happened in that game. So, under the leadership of Morris Forres, we shall win the game. Alright, it's game of forest time. It's time to make a really strong France against the Germans. Finally, it's loaded. So, yep, welcome to Kaiser Redux, it says. In game path guides, okay. So now we just have to sort out research and all of that, so. Now we've sorted all of that out, so here it says to come in France, read the text if you want to. I don't understand French, so we'll try to say, yeah, to say that. And Kerensky just died to help Barbaric. And it's these, these guys that we're going for, the Jacobins. Communism? Who would fight for that dead ideology? We would. We're going to make an, our own kind of communism though, with French characteristics. And now we shall elect um, the Jacobins for everything, so yeah. The results in, and we won! Jacobin majority. And so begins the revolution. Alright, so to make the revolution prevail, we'll need to spread syndicalism, or should I say communism, over to our neighbouring countries in Europe. So we'll go after Spain and Portugal first, and not do the legacy of Lenin in that focus, so that we make a French-styled communism. Alright, let's export the revolution to our fellow Iberians in the south. <laughs> Well, this is slightly cursed to see. America's usually supposed to have a civil war on Kaiser Redux and Kaiser Reich, but they just did it this. Okay, now we've dealt with the Iberian threat of capitalism. So now we have syndicalism around there, which is great for our glorious revolution across the world. Our socialist comrades in the south, who have Benito Mussolini as their leader, are having a bit of trouble in the north right now. So we will invade the Italian Federation and Continue just attack. simply win. Finally, game over for the Italian Federation. Alright, so as you can see right now, we're just trolling the Belgians first and then the Dutch. Oh nice, gamer moment just happened. So, yeah, now the revolution has succeeded to the Benelux. And also, we have made a front line against the disgusting Reichs Pact. Alright, so now we're going to try and get help to Savoy from Switzerland, our rightful French land that should go back to us, and probably also Romandy, but we probably won't be getting that, because it's always been part of Switzerland. Live Switzerland reaction be like. And they've just refused, like completely, not even just how to Savoy. We also wanted the Romandy, but yeah, now we're gonna just demand it. So give it to us, or war. Yeah. Okay, good boy. Yeah, they accept it, this is great. Finally they cave in. And then... Okay, the Swiss cave in, the Germans are gonna get an event. But at least syndicalism has spread, and the Fourth Balkan War has started, oof. Huh, nice. Hellenic Socialist Republic, and they even communists. Maybe they will join the Third International soon. We'll see. Oof. Okay. Oh, this is actually good. Syndicalism prevails in Ukraine. Yeah, the Reichs Pact isn't even safe. Damn. 
literally Nikita Khrushchev. Oh wow, we, you look at that, the tribes break free of the Germans, the collapse of Middle Africa, wow. So finally they might turn over to our side of syndicalism. But we don't know for sure, but at least they're free from the German oppression. This is great. Uh oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. Stupid naval invasion time, I guess. The Entente has declared war on us. Damn it. Well, the first target can be Sardinia if we just naval invade it. Looks like Britain had tried before we came. But as you can see, a successful landing has been made, and we'll also capture Corsica, a French island that we want to take as well from the Sydney Entente. Wow, coming on to L. Just easily took this from them. <laughs> we have waited too long for our revenge on the Kaiserreich. Let's see if we can get at least Alsace Lorraine back from the Germans so that they can see to our side more. But if they don't, well, we're still gonna go to war with them. And the results are going to come in. And there we go, the Alsace Ultimatum. Well, Germany, surprise, surprise, it's time for your demise. And there we go. And the world is at war once again. Damn. Yeah. So now it's the second Feldkrieg. Finally, we've liberated Alsace Lorraine. Let's go, the Reichspact has collapsed, down with imperialism. There we go. Now we can finally decide what to do with most of the Reichspacts, which is very epic. Alright, the Treaty of Berlin is now done. But I know it looks a bit goofy in Germany right now, and the Baltics. But that's because of how in Kaiserreich, you just have to free them for a decision. Anyways, let's focus on the threats that we're dealing against. The Ottoman Empire and the fake French nation Attention. that we're fighting against. The cringy Entente. So, yeah, let's prepare the naval invasions against France and just focus on Ottoman Libya. Well, I guess as you can see, I've also been focusing on the French front as well. Another CDW right now, the fall of Algiers. This is great. So now they just won't cause trouble ever again, which is just very nice to see. We are only taking dubs yet again. The fake France is actually 
capitulated, apart from, I guess, these small other countries in Africa that just happened. It's still side with the disgusting on top, it's unbelievable. But anyways, we will still destroy them and show them the revolution. Finally, these colonies are free thanks to our great leader Maurice Forrest. Let's go! But now we will only have to face off against the Ottomans. So, let's just get them down after we've sorted out that pocket there. As you know, we are winning in North Africa and in the Central Eastern Africa bit around the Sudan, as you can see here. It's just a massive W for us already, and the Ottomans have definitely lost this war against us. Oh nice, Alsace Lorraine is now finally integrated as French territory, like it always has been, and Constantinople has finally fallen. Wow, it's been a while since that happened. It feels like I'm trying to speedrun the Ottoman capitulation, but I don't know. Yes! Finally! The Ottoman Federation is out of the game with us controlling them instead. This is good. Don't know why we didn't really have a France peace conference yet, but soon we shall, hopefully. But yeah, let's just fix this out. There we go, that's the Treaty of Constantinople done. And we're still fighting against the Entente. Strange. Well, I, don't, I really don't want to just bother fighting against cannon or of those, they're just completely gone from Europe and Africa. Ah, that's annoying. Decided to just sign a white piece with them using a tool that you probably just saw there. And there we go, finally, the peace conference for France. So let's just free these ex-colonies and show them the revolution. For now, it'll look like I've annexed them. Which I actually know about, as you see very obviously here, but they will be freed through decisions. You'll see. Look, an independent Africa. Nice, isn't it? Decolonization. So let's finish it off yeah, with on. destroying our neighbor and showing them the revolution. Switzerland, the one that claims to be neutral, will show them. Ah, lovely. The final war is over against the silly Swiss that are gonna now just disappear. Goodbye. Now that the peace conference is over, we have finally made France strong again. And this is also when the video ends, so thank you so much for watching, viewer, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you in advance.